for e-learning at Sri Guru Tegh Bahadur Khalsa College, University of Delhi, has conceived and designed a novel template for the development of e-content for the project EPG Patshala, which is a part of India's national mission on education through ICT. The center aims at generating high-quality, multimedia-enriched e-learning solutions for enhancing the quality of education. The visionary perspective of the center is to participate and be an agent of change in transforming quality of education by ICT integration. The center has Professor A.K. Bakshi as its chairman, Professor K.V. Bhanumurthy as vice chairman and presently acting chairman, Dr. Jaswinder Singh as executive director and Dr. Vimal Rar as deputy director. The project EPG Patshala of UGC under the enemy ICT scheme of MHRD, Government of India, aims to develop high-quality multimedia enriched digital content for postgraduate courses in 77 disciplines. Of these, e-content development for six disciplines, namely chemistry, commerce, psychology, economics, forensic science, and business economics is being done at the Center for e-learning by a team of eminent PIs and co-PIs. The digital content is being developed using a unique template which has been specially conceptualized, designed and developed for EPG Patshala project by Dr. Vimal Rar along with Professor A.K. Bakshi. This template has been accepted and approved by the University Grants Commission. The first quadrant is the e-text, which encompasses elaborated text with images on the designated topic. The second component is the self-learn, which is an audio-video lecture having animations and graphics to explain the concept in a simplified and crisp manner. After going through the e-text and self-learn, we expect the learner to test his or her knowledge by answering questions which are a part of the self-assessment. The self-assessment consists of interactive questions with feedback for correct as well as incorrect options. At the end, students are provided with immediate grading and overall feedback. The fourth component is Learn More. It provides additional insights to the subject in the form of interesting facts, biographies, suggested readings, common misconceptions, etc. The USP of this template is self-learn and learn more. Self-learn ensures effective learning in a simple manner. Let us see some glimpses of self-learn. Domestic business includes all the business transactions conducted within a border of a particular nation or a commercial entity. Whereas, international business includes all the commercial activities conducted beyond national boundaries. International business includes import-export, licensing, and franchising, as well as foreign investments. International business provides an opportunity to firms to share latest technology worldwide. It also results in cross-border cooperation and agreements because of healthy political relations among nations. Example of credit terms seen in a common policy can be like 3 by 10 net 30. This means that 3% cash discount is available for a period of 10 days at the beginning of the credit period of 30 days. If the customer does not want to take advantage of the cash discount, she should pay within 30 days. If she fails to make the payment within 30 days, she will be assumed to be a defaulter. Ridge ending. This is a ridge which abruptly ends its path. Notice the abruptly ending ridge. Week 3. Beginning development of the brain, heart, blood cells, circulatory system, spinal cord and digestive system. Week 4, beginning development of bones, facial structures and limbs, presence of arm and leg buds, continuing development of the heart which begins to beat, brain and nervous tissue. 
Week 8, facial features more distinct, internal organs well developed, the brain can signal for muscles to move, heart development ends, external sex organs begin to form. Let us now understand the impact of instruments on the RBI's ability to achieve targets with the help of the aggregate demand and supply diagram. For this, we are taking price level on y-axis and real GDP on x-axis. The economy is initially at the intersection of AD and SRAS at point A, with a price level of P0 and real output of Y0. We assume the policymaker has two targets, one for the price level and one for the real output. One thing to notice is that during the substitution reaction, the geometry of the molecule is unaffected. Tetrahedral remains tetrahedral and planar remains planar. Phoenix is the science which basically deals with microscopic matter. But depending upon the nature of the problems to which we apply quantum mechanics, it gets a different name. For example, if we apply it to the problems of chemistry, we call it quantum chemistry. Let us see an animation which depicts the working of a UV visible spectrophotometer. A light beam is generated from a UV visible light source, which is then separated into its component wavelengths by a prism or a diffraction grating, which are the parts of a monochromator. The beam is then passed through a transparent cell containing the sample or the reference solution. After this, the intensities of the respective transmitted beams are compared over the wavelength range of the instrument. This instrument electronically subtracts the absorption of the pure solvent from the absorption of the solution and measures the absorbance or transmittance due to the compound itself. Finally, the instrument records a graph between the absorbance versus the corresponding wavelength. In the Learn More component as well, the emphasis is on enhancing the interest of the students towards the subject. Some glimpses are as shown. The template has been designed in such a manner that the features of good e-content like authenticity, self-learning, self-assessment, high interactivity, multimedia enrichment, structured easy navigation, modular reusability and SCOMP compliance are inbuilt. For each postgraduate subject, around 600 modules of the digital content are being developed by a team of hundreds of subject matter experts and technical experts. The subject experts are trained for pedagogies and ICT skills for ensuring their effective contribution towards high-quality digital content. There are two main stages of development. The four components are authored and then reviewed by academicians who are experts in their field. This content is then subjected to scientific and lingual editing. This static content is then multimedia enriched and converted to SCOM modules. Synchronous, teacher-friendly input templates have been developed for speeding up the process of digital content development so that interface between teachers and technical team is minimal. Teachers provide static content in document or presentation format which is converted into multimedia-enriched SCOM modules by the technical team at the Center for e-learning.
young teams of postgraduate students and research scholars are also involved in the development process. They guide the technical team on enhancing academic component by graphic creation, visual enrichment, animation and video creation, etc. The methodology of e-content development through the synchronous input templates is scalable and can be used for any subject and any course. It can also be easily converted to multilingual formats. This is a modular and reusable content, which can be mixed and matched to provide content for interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary courses. This modular content, besides being reusable for different courses, is futuristic in the sense that changes in syllabi can be very easily adapted. A prototype module for multilingual format has been developed to show the proof of concept. This shall help to meet the challenges of linguistic diversity of India. To begin with, let us know about what is a financial market. A financial market is a market which helps the funds move from those who have a surplus. First of all, we will know what is the Vikte Bajar. The Vikte Bajar is the Bajar that helps the movement of the Punji or the movement. शुरू करते होले प्रथमे आमदे जाना दरकार जेकी आर्थिक बाजार काके बोले। This digital content developed under EPG Pathshala shall be used by both postgraduate students and teachers across all colleges and universities of India. This content shall be made available through a UGC portal. The content is fully functional in CD or downloadable format. as well as on LMS or any web portal. It shall be useful to those students who do not have internet connection. When used via LMS, it can be used to track and analyze the learner's performance. It shall be useful for conventional universities as good quality supplementary material in the form of blended learning. For open universities as a better alternative to printed self-learning material, and in virtual courses like MOOCs as the main e-content around which virtual teacher-student groups can be formed. The content shall transform the process of learning from presenter-teacher-centric to learner-centric model as this content supports self-learning and self-assessment. These core modules are a tool to empower the teachers and certainly not replace them. It will help in enhancing the quality of teaching and learning across the whole country. It has the potential to change the face of education in the coming decades.